I'm at an ex exhibition tomorrow and our garden chairs are utterly disgusting and I'm t I've taken two along there we've got four chairs there now I'm home back to my workroom and I've decided that I'm going to cover them this is the most this is the fabric I'm going to use I can't be too fussy on the type of fabric I'm using because I don't have much for, for four chairs so what I'm going to do I'm going to explain something to you right so I'm going to measure the chairs so from here to here is 18 inches that's the bottom and I'm going to do them all in one strip this going all the way around in one strip because I haven't got the time so that's 18 inches that's 14 inches up the top is 18 inches around the back is 18 inches to there and from there no well, I'll do that again from there to there is 29 inches so scratch that so it's 29 inches and from here to the floor is 13 inches but in all honesty what I could do is make from here to here a straight drop and just leave it at that but no I think I'll give it a bit of style and I'll bring it in there so we'll do that but I didn't do that with the front I just left it in should I do that with the front no if I do that I will have to put some zips in and it's going to be a quick thing to just cover the chair right so that's it so what I'm going to do 18 14 18 29 13 let's do that again 18 14 18 29 to there and 13 drop going down that's it and all this I'm going to cut this out add it all up and that's going to be one strip of fabric because I haven't got time and then I'm going to lie this down on my table and draw the shape of this and notice that this tilts backwards so I'm going to draw it like this and then I'm going to um, this bit straight and then I'm going to cut this bit out times two so I have one there one there and this bit here is one strip and that's my chair cover made because I haven't got the time I've got an appointment for wooden blinds to measure up for wooden blinds at half past seven I've got to leave here at seven o'clock it's now it's now five to six so I've got at least 55 minutes of sewing and cutting so I've really got to make this quick and then when I come back I'll finish it off tonight and put it on the chairs tomorrow at the exhibition so that's something I'm going to do now because you've seen the state of these chairs this is not the one they're already at the exhibition but it's embarrassing so let me see if I can quickly do that got to take in account the width of the chair and the width of the chair is is 17 inches measure both back and front 17 inches now I'm going to make that 17 17 and a half because I haven't got the time for a tight fit I just want to make sure it just goes over it and that's it eight 17 and a half the width and the length I'm going to cut my strip so I'm going to 18 18 add 14 add 18 add 29 add 13 add that's 92 inches 92 inches 92 inches and I'm going to add four inches two inches for the hem on either side so let's add another four inches which is 96 inches 96 inches is my strip 
that means I now need divided by 39 two and a quarter no two and over a half meters of fabric to give me the the length so I need four strips at two and a half so let me do that now and cut them out and hopefully I've got enough fabric to do this because I haven't checked it out the fabric that I'm using is a hundred a hundred and ten that's why I chose it because there's a lot in it and beggars can't be choosers at the moment Here we now, we have now four strips as back and front. And now I'm going to do, so it's one long continuous strip because this fabric is 110 inches wide. So that's my back and front cut out. This is as simple as you can get it. That's the back and front. Now I'm going to cut the sides out. Now I haven't got time to do any calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chair on its side. And I'm going to draw around the chair. But at the same time, I need to be able to get, uh, let's see, eight of this. So it's going to be a tight squeeze. So I've got one here. One, that's, that's. Oh, I've doubled the fabric, by the way. So that's two chairs. So that'll do it. Two chairs and two chairs. That's it. So I'm going to draw around it. make sure as well that it does it is able to get into it and make that a little bit longer no I'm going to do this in one piece here and I'm going to do this bit here in one piece so that's my chair will it go on it I think I should play safe and leave the back open and to just put it on. Yeah, I'll play safe. I ain't got time to mess around, so I'll do that. So as you can see, there is a shape of the chair. And I'm not going to bother to do that. That would have looked nice. But I want to make sure it goes over the chair without any problem. Now that distance to there was more than that. So I'm going to have fabric extra, but it doesn't matter. I could always shape it up. So um, I'm going to do that, cut it out. And because I haven't really got time, I'm going to fold the fabric again and cut it all in one go because I really don't have time for this. So I folded the fabric in half. And now I'm going to cut it out. But you think I haven't allowed for the hem. So that's my hem. Is the quickest way to make a chair up there. They're all the 
the same. I'm just going to put a little notch right here. So that they all go in that part. They all turn in the same place. That's it. So now I'm going to take my fabric. This is the back and the front of the chair. Now I'm going to stitch it all the way around. finish and, I'm, and then I might even overlock it. Here we go. I've stitched up the side, the panel all the way here and I've just turned it under getting it ready to hang. And what I'll do now is I'll put it on the chair. There's that tatty old chair. And see how it fits. Yes, could have been a bit tighter, but that will do. I think the others will oh, take the hem off a bit more. No, I won't because I'm going to put something around here to give it shape. I think I'm going to put some black elastic around it or you just put it tight or get a clip and just clip it to make it look a bit more fancy. That is nice to just do that. So that's one done. Then I'll iron it and the presentation will look good. Actually, I could put some elastic in the back. Yeah, I could, couldn't it? Oh, gosh. So that's a quick little thing. So now I'm going to do the rest. It's been iron but it could do with a good old iron. But you know what? That is okay. As you can see, I've given it plenty of room around here because I didn't want it to have a tight fit because I was in a hurry. But you can see the angle of it. And that is job well done. Should a curtain have no life? Do you need to revitalise them? Call the curtain doctor. I like me. Thank you. Thank you. Have a look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, I think so. Yeah, thank you. Do it in your head. Would you like a brush, sir, this is the Christian Resources exhibition, and as you can see, I've got my curtains here, and some people have approached me and said to me, what am I doing here? And I have to say to them, even churches have windows, do they not? So anyway, I've done my display and I'm handing out my literature and I've been getting some interesting things. So let's see what comes of it. So here's my stand.
Here we have wooden blinds. <laughs> Here we have wooden blinds. Venetian blinds. Wooden blind again. Shutters. Holes. Fabric, fabric floor. And what I've done is, I've shown them what I'm capable of doing, that I can make something out of nothing. But well, as you saw me in my workroom, I made this, this swags, uh, which is a little demonstration that they can see that my name is Des Swags, Swags on tail. And as you can see, I offer the same as what shops have to offer. So here we have a selection of poles, all colours and accessories and we here have a book here we have a book which is roller blinds, vertical blinds, Roman blinds and a selection as you've seen in my workroom of Roman blinds. Here is another selection as well of poles. So we have all different, these look like say 50 mil poles. Last night I was in such a panic whereby I bought some chairs here. When I bought the chairs, the chairs look so disgusting, I was so embarrassed. I had to go home last night and quickly make four of these up just to cover them with my garden chairs. And then do five for that. So here we are. At this exhibition, I've got, I'll be here for, for three days. And now I'm just waiting for some more When you put them all together, now don't forget, when I made these, I didn't make them for a tight fit, but you can make them for a tight fit. But you see, you can also use them for other chairs as well, to cover it up, so long as they go back. And then you tie a bow around it, you know what they do for weddings and so on. So that's it. No, thank you. Hello. Hello, I'm at the exhibition. And this is the Christian exhibition, which is the CED. CRE. CRE exhibition. Now, you saw when I made these, these covers for these chairs, right? But what I want to tell you is now, I'm just so excited because while I'm at this exhibition, Exhibition. I just met one of my my subscriber who came onto my stand, right? And her name is Pauline with an E, and she lives in London. And she told me how she loves me. Now that is to me that really blows me away. It's nice to know that I can meet people who I'm actually teaching, and she's excited and ecstatic. Unfortunately, she was a bit. 
camera shy, so she wouldn't. Um, can I give you a little? Thank you. She wouldn't. Um, she wouldn't come on my my filming. But you know what? I'm just blown over. So, but anyway, now you see the um, chair covers. How simple and easy it is to do. Right? And it's. I mean, you've seen the state of the chair. The chairs look amazing. Natural fact. Let me show you the state of the chair. Right. So in the old fabric. What a mess. What an embarrassment. Right? So for for this exhibition, we don't need to spend any money. So for the exhibition, these cracks Now as I said before, I didn't make that time because I'd like to use these covers on other chairs. And all you have to do is just get your, your fabric and tie this and make it more presentable. Now if you can imagine this for weddings, weddings when you're making weddings and it's normally a white fabric that you use, and then when you use a white fabric then you use a colour and tie around your chair and voila it's finished. What do you think? Please, please email me and let me know what you have to say about these covers and thank you for watching my show and I hope you've learned how quick and easy it is for you to do this. Thank you.